and welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my youtube channel i thank you for your love for your support i really appreciate each and every one of you that have supported stylish nigeria youtube channel actually don't take it for granted thank you so so much okay so if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please i would want you to subscribe some of you have been watching my videos and yet you have still not clicked on that subscribe button please just check if you still see the red button that means you have not yet subscribed so just click subscribe it actually takes nothing to do that and if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button i would appreciate for you to support my youtube channel by hitting on the like button of my videos i would appreciate that and then in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this trendy beautiful trendy jacket yes this jacket is really edgy that's what we're going to learn how to cut and sew today and i'm going to be making use of two years of this fabric that's what i'm going to be making use of so you can make use of any fabric of your choice you can make use of dolches you can make use of doll face you can make use of um mikado so that's i'm making use of this and this is two years so i'll use this both for the actual bodies and then the lining piece also and then i'm going to be making use of just three basic measurements today for today's tutorial and the three measurements i'm making use of is the shoulder which is 14 and then the bust part i'm going to make use of 40 inches so i don't want it to be tight and then my waist is 32 so these are like the basic measurement and then if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have available so guys let's just get started straight into the tutorial i'm going to draft it on a pattern and then we'll transfer to the fabric it is a very simple process okay guys okay so you can see i have my pattern paper here so now we're going to start drafting this is very simple process so um the lines that i have here this first line here is my chair is my shoulder line and then i have my bust point which is 10 and then the full length of the jacket is 18 inches so that's just basically the measurement that i have so i have my pattern paper so we're going to draft the back first we we'll cut it out and then we we'll use the back to cut out the front okay so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder measurement is 14. So I'll divide it into four. I have seven inches. So I'm going to add 1.5 as my allowance. You can do one inch. You can do half of an inch. So that it depends on what you want. And then from this point, I'm just going to come down by one inch. And that one inch, I'll put it into the shoulder line like this. Okay, so from this point, I'm going to measure my arm hole. So for my arm hole, I'm using 8 inches because it is 16. So half is 8. So I'll connect this line to that half line like this. And then I would mark like this. And then I will draft out my arm hole line. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add now is our bust measurement. So if you notice, this is not a very tight jacket. So it depends on what you want, how tight you actually want it to be. So for mine, my bust measurement, I'm going to use, my bust measurement is 36, which is 9. So I'm going to add 1 inch to it to make it 10. So that's 40. I don't want it to be tight, so that is why I'm doing that. So I'll just add an extra one inch for stitching allowance. So I'll mark it like this. So that's for the post. And then the next measurement I'm going to mark is the waist measurement, which that's the down part of my jacket. So for that, you can actually measure around what you want, and then you are going to use that. So for mine, I'm going to use 32 inches, which is 8 inches. So you divide into four. So all of my measurements, I'm dividing them into four. So I have eight inches here. And then the next measurement, and then I'm going to add two inches for allowance to it. So I'll take this like this, and then I'll connect it to this like this. So that's just basically what I need. So here we use 32 inches. And then here we use 40 inches. So these are just the basic measurements that we use. 
so the next thing i'm going to cut this out so we'll use this to cut the back and then cut the front so for the dart so i'm going to add that to it so i'll just use half of an inch to do my dart so for the dart i'll use 4.5 inches which is half of my bust palm measurement and then i'm going to come up i'll come up by five inches so i'll connect it like this and then i'll take half of an inch out from both sides so this one inch that i took out i'm going to add it back on my pattern I'm going to add this back on my pattern just one. So I'll cut this out right now and then I'll cut, I'll transfer it to my fabric and then I'll use this to cut out the back, the front. So for the neckline, we're just going to use the neckline of 3 inches. That's the wideness of the neckline. Just use 3 inches like this. And then the depth of the neckline, I'll use 3 by 1.5. Okay. Okay, so I've cut out my back piece. So this is the back. So I'll keep it on the side. So we're going to use this now to cut out the front. So for the front piece, what we're going to do, the neckline, depends on how open you want it to be. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to up, take out about 2 inches from the front of my pattern. Or 1.5. I think I should do 1.5. If you notice from the picture, it's not open. That's from this down part. I have 1.5. And then from this center part, I have about two inches. So on the neckline part, you are going to make sure. So I'm not just going to come here and take out from here. The neckline has to align. So I'll mark that point and then I'll connect all of these lines together. Okay, so my marker is almost running out. So I'll connect all of these lines. So this is what I'm going to use. For my front pattern so i would cut this out or i would just fold it if i don't want to cut it since i'm not using the pattern again i'll just cut this cut this out so this is what i'm going to use for my front pattern because my front if you notice is open at the center so i'll transfer this to the fabric right now and then I'll cut out my lining piece. Okay, so for the design that we have on top of the jacket, it's just a random design. So I used a pencil to sketch it out. So what I did, I just, I just, I did it randomly with no particular measurement. From the armhole, I just created this shape on it. So I'm going to, I'm trying to highlight it nicely before I cut it out. So I'll use the pattern most of what I cut out. I'll cut this out and then I'll cut after cutting this out I'll sew and then turn and place on top of the jacket. So I'm going to cut this off now. So this is just a random pattern. Please note. So it is not on top of the the neck. It's not on top of the arm point. So it's just a square, like a square shape. You just sew and turn, and then we'll attach this back on the shoulder part. This side will go to the arm hole. Why this side is going to? like that so I'll cut it on my fabric also so now I'll show you how I'm going to stitch so I have my back pattern here so I'll take it back to my machine and then sew and turn so I'm just going to sew I'll join I'm doing an inseam so I'll sew all of my lining piece separately 
and then sew the fabric separately. Okay, so I finished cutting all of my pieces. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to stitch now. So I'm doing an inseam finishing. So I'll just keep this is the lining. So I'm using the same fabric for it. So I'll just take this piece and then I'll take one piece of the I'll take the front on. So the same thing I'm doing to the back, that's what I'm doing to the that's what I'm doing to the lining, is what I'm doing to the fabric. So I'll open this up like this, and then I'll take I'll take this piece, one piece of the front, and then on this is the okay. So this is the armhole side. I'm going to take them and then I'll join here and then I'll join here. So after joining them like this, I'll do the same thing to the front, to the back, and then I'll, I'll just go ahead, I'll do it, and then come back and show you. I'll place the other one on it, and then sew everything and turn it. So that's how simple it is. So this is for the, the cutout that I made. So that cutout, I decided to add a little piece of black inside. So I want to sew it and turn it. So the black is going to be inside. I just want to add a drop of color to it. So I'm going to use it to sew and turn. That's what I intend to do. So I'll, the black is going to be the lining. So I'll do that. And then I'll come back and show you how I'll place it on it before I turn it with the lining piece. Okay, so you can see I finished stitching my piece together. So you can see, so this is the front. So like I told you, so this, I just stitched. This was what we did here. I just stitched it. Turned it with the black, like I said, and then placed it on the shoulder of my front piece. Just placed it, and then I joined the side, just like I explained. So this is the lining piece also. The next thing we're going to do now, just make sure that everything matches well. So just make sure you check. Make sure that the length, because if you are doing an inseam, you have to be very careful. So everything is looking okay. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my lining piece, and my I'm going to match them together now so for my lining piece what i'm going to do match them from the edge of this shoulder part like this i'll match them so make sure that the, the neckline that they, they align together and then i'm going to join it i'm just literally going to join everything around so i'll be left with just my armhole area i'll stitch the down the side everything so i'll turn it from my armhole give it a good press and then i'll bring it back and show you how it will look like okay so you can see i finished and um, stitching so i'm going to show you so you can see how beautiful our jacket look inside and outside so the next thing we're going to cut the sleeve so for the sleeve i'm going to mix my sleeve i'm going to use a black satin for the inner one and then i'll use this blue for the outer one so i don't want to mine to be three layers i'm going to make mine to be two so the first one the four the one on the down part i'm going to cut it like a gum sleeve just like this so i'm going to show you how to cut it now it is a very simple sleeve so all i'm going to do i'm just going to measure what i have here that's what i'm going to use for my sleeve measurement so this is about nine and a half inches okay so this is what i'm going to use so I'll play, I'll, i'm using the black for that part so i'll use my black satin now so it depends on how big how exaggerated you want it to be So that folded my fabric. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the length. Depends on how long I want this sleeve to be. So this is about 13 inches, which is okay. So I'll just add one inch for my allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do now for a gun sleeve, all I need to do is I'm just trying to just like freehand it first, and then I'll play this part a little bit. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll flay this part. So it depends on how wide I want my flay to be. So I'm going to check it now. So I have about 11 inches here. So it should not be more too much. So I'll just 
plant this part like so the next thing i want now i want to get my nine inches on this part like this so on this part i'm just going to measure to check to double check so i have about 12 inches you know i'm going to pleat that part so this is okay for me so i'm going to cut this out now before i cut out the flay for the top wall so you can see what i have so the next one i'm going to cut what i'm going to cut next is going to be like a flay that i'm going to use for the top part so that flay is just a regular flay so it depends on how I want it to be so mine and I'm not really sure if I really want it to be as full as what I have on that picture that's the picture that I showed you earlier I'm not really sure so I'm just going to go ahead and fold my fabric so mine is not going to be as full as that I'll fold my fabric and then I'm just going to cut So I'll use this part. So I'll use this part now. I'll just use what I have here. The length of the fabric I have, which is 9 inches. I'll mark it round. So after marking this round, I'm going to open this top part. So this top part, but anyhow I open it, I don't really have any problem because I'm going to pleat it around it after all. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use 7 inches. I don't want it to be too... So I use 7 inches to open it up. So I'll check it. Okay, so I think my 7 inches a little bit so I'll open this up and then I'll place it down to place it here and see what I have so you can see so this I'm just going to stitch on top of this like this so I'll stitch it and then it's going to drop down so I'll pleat everything so I'll show you how to do this so I'm going to double all of my sleeves so it will have that firmness so I'll cut it double double and then I'll show you how to stitch it. Okay, so you can see. So I finished stitching. I finished stitching the sleeve. So this is the, the gong part of the sleeve. And then this is the flay. So I've stoned it, stoned both of them, and then I've ironed it. So the next thing is just for me to trim out. I'll just trim the sleeve. That's the part I attach them together. Okay, so I'll show you. So after that, the next thing we're going to do, is I'm going to attach this now to this part like this. I'm going to start stitching it from here. So I'll start stitching from this point like this. And then I'll stitch it all around on the, <coughs> excuse me, the armhole area. So I'll do some little pleats on the center part here. And then I'll stitch it to this end like this. So once I get to this end, I'll join the sleeve together on the side. And then I'll attach it. So when I'm joining it, when I get to this point, I'll stop. This part of the sleeve is going to be open. So once I'm done, I'll join it together and then I'll stitch it. I'll come back and show you how it will look like. Okay, so at the end of the day, you can see how our jacket, our trendy jacket looks like. It came out really fine. So... Thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.